Hey there, and welcome to another Slightly Redneck video. I'm going to be uh, in the kitchen today. Um, I'm going to be making uh, some deviled quail eggs for my sister's birthday party today. And I thought, well, I'll just film it and show everybody how I do that. I've already got one egg cut here, but of course you're going to start off with hard-boiled quail eggs. Pretty easy to do there. Uh, take your eggs, and what I do is I kind of turn them a little bit. You can see there's usually a spot It looks a little yellow. I don't know if it's showing up on camera. Where the egg is, or the yolk is a little bit closer to the outside than the rest of the egg. And I always turn that side up so that whenever I cut the egg in half, I don't waste half of the shell or half of the uh, egg half um, where the yolk is thin. So pop that open. Keep your hands a little bit damp. And you're going to take the yolk out of the egg. Let me get this over here where you can see it. The yolk out of the egg. And what I usually do is just kind of, uh, just kind of put my, you know, peel the egg back and peel the yolk out. There we go. It's kind of hard to explain, but hopefully you get the idea. You've got an egg half. Set it on your plate. Let's take my other egg half and do the same thing. You can just kind of peel the egg back and you can usually just pop the egg yolk right out. Sometimes you have to dig out a little bit of yolk. And put all that yolk in a bowl. So I'm going to do this whole bowl full of eggs here and then I'll come back and I'll show you the next step. Alright, got all those eggs uh, halved and the yolks taken out for the most part. Transferred them from a plate to a um, to my carrying dish, my dish that I'm going to carry them to her house in. And I laid a paper towel down in there because that makes them slide. Just They'll, they'll still flip over if you're not careful. Um, so I don't put a lot of effort into setting these up in a pretty way because they're going to get all jostled around anyway and it doesn't matter. But So a paper towel does help with that though. They'll kind of stick to it a little bit and it keeps them from sliding around nearly as much. Because if you don't put that in there and just put them straight on the plastic, by the time you get there, all your eggs are down on one end and just all scrunched up. So, anyway, got my uh, egg yolks here. This is about 30 uh, quail eggs. So, oh, what's that? About two and a half dozen. Yeah, it is two and a half dozen. So, what I typically do would be use, uh, you know, whatever favorite uh, deviled egg recipe you have. Um, usually, you know, for regular chicken eggs, it will call for a dozen chicken eggs. So take the measurements that it gives you, divide those by five, and that's about how much you're going to need per dozen quail eggs. So I've just kind of got this worked out in my head. Um, I'm just going to guess at it. And what I would really focus on more than anything is technique um, over the exact recipe. That just gives you kind of a baseline where to start. Um, I've got about two and a half dozen quail eggs here. I like um, to use real mayonnaise. I use real mayonnaise. I use yellow mustard. This is my favorite recipe. And I'm going to use some salt and then I'll dust them off with some paprika on the end to make them look pretty and give them a little smokiness. Um, so what I'm going to start with here is probably, oh, I don't know, maybe a heaping tablespoon and a half of mayonnaise. I'm going to put in probably, I'm just going to guess at it, oh, probably two teaspoons full of uh, mustard, yellow mustard. A little bit of salt, maybe, uh, I don't have any salt in this shaker, let me get another <coughs> Alright, we're going to use pink Himalayan sea salt, it doesn't matter, salt is salt. Um, that's not entirely true, but for this, salt is salt. I'm just going to give it a little bit of salt, you can always add more if you need. Smash all this stuff together and mash all that stuff up. second to get this all stirred up, we'll go on to the next step. Alright, got those mashed up pretty good. Now, two things you do at this point. Um, decide if you need to add more ingredients. And one thing I always do is I always smell my food, so we'll smell it. And I smell what comes out strongest. Right now, um, it just smells like deviled egg mix, so that's pretty good. Mustard's a little bit high, and it also looks like I don't know, it's just not quite as creamy as I want it to be. It's still kind of chunking up, glopping together. So I'm going to add a little bit more mayonnaise to this. So I'm going to give it maybe uh, another probably half a tablespoon. Stir that in. Okay, so I've got that stirred in. It smells pretty good. I'm going to taste it now, just a little bit. Get a, get a taste of it, see what it tastes like. It tastes pretty darn good. Maybe a little bit more salt. But that's basically it. If you don't have enough twang to it, if it's not uh, you know tangy enough, 
then uh, put more mustard in just a little bit at a time a little bit goes a long way if it's not creamy enough for you put a little bit more mayonnaise in and that's basically all I do uh, for the filling so let me get this all uh, situated here and I'll come back and I'll show you the next step all right so got my um, got my egg batter or my yolk mixture ready to go. I need to get it inside the eggs. And the way I do that was with a uh, Ziploc bag. Oops, I'm already making a mess. It's okay, this is going to get real messy anyway. Just take a Ziploc bag and snip the corner of it off. Just the, uh, I don't know if you can see this in the camera, just the very corner of this Ziploc bag. You need a, you're going to pipe it out of this. You don't need a very big hole in the Ziploc bag, just a, just a little piece. So just snip it off and then fill your bag with your egg mixture. Let me get that done and we'll, uh, we'll come back and I'll show you what that looks like from there. Okay, got my egg yolk mixture inside the Ziploc bag. You can zip that up if you want to, but it's not really that necessary. What I'm going to do is just going to fold that over and you can see that it's already starting to come out of that hole. So i got to kind of work kind of fast. And then just pipe it into those eggs. Just put a little dollop in each one. You can go back through and smooth these out if you if you want to after you're done. And then uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. Decorate them up however you want to. Put a I'm going to put a little bit of paprika on the top of them. So let me get these eggs filled and I'll come back and I'll show you what that looks like whenever I get done. All right. That's pretty much it. Fill your eggs. I sprinkled a little bit of paprika over them. Um, you can kind of see they're not the most beautiful eggs ever. I don't take that much time with it, and I'm traveling with it, so it's probably going to get all rustled up anyway. But anyway, I've got one egg here that kind of had a little bit of a blowout when I filled it, so I'm just going to go ahead and eat this one and call it a sample. Mmm. Very good. Love deviled quail eggs. They don't taste that much different than a chicken egg, but they're just bite size. It's just a more manageable bite. And they're fantastic. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Leave some comments. Connect with me on Facebook or on my blog. And as always, God bless.